snowy December 1st in my studio. As messy as it is, and it's just piled with stuff everywhere. Um, but you got to work somewhere sometimes. So, I don't know. I, I'm waiting for some heavy body acrylic to come in, and so I can continue with kind of the series of this really impasto type painting style that I'm doing. A real thick um, type of work. But I'm kind of stuck, so I'm doing some little studies today with some thinner house paint, acrylic paint mixtures, just some little 16 by 20s, uh, really fluid type work. Uh, I don't do a lot of the cell stuff, you know, making the cells that you see a lot of right now with the Ford paints. I like to manipulate it, so the process is I usually will pour a bunch of paint on it and then push it around. So here's the level I'm at right now. Um, this one I'm working into a little more than the other two over here. These two, I think I'm just going to leave alone. Sometimes you just got to stop doing something and let it be. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. I got a little glass of scotch here, my sketchbook. I've got some tunes going in the background, a beautiful snowy day out there. Uh, not going to plow or anything. Oh, there's my neighbor. And so that's what we're up to. I'm up to today. I'm avoiding chores like the salt and uh, putting together the baby's ski polk so I can go skiing. But you can see over here I have three 30 by 40 gallery wrapped canvas just waiting for the next chance to put down the heavy body. But as opposed to it showing up in two days, it's uh, going to show up Tuesday, today Sunday. So I had to do something. My, my dear wife told me. Hey, get out of the house, and, or get out of the upstairs and go do some work in the studio. That's basically what she said. She said, get out. Uh, she knew I was getting grumpy, hadn't had a lot of chance with the holidays to create and to make some interesting work. So she basically told me to get out. Well, what a hot mess this is. Actually, it's kind of interesting because I'm just exploring it over the car. I use a lot of palette knives. I don't use a lot of brushes, mostly because I don't like washing them. So I do a lot of palette knives, my fingers, hands, whatever I can get. Uh, sometimes these mixing sticks, drip, pour, whatever the case is. So um, this could be interesting. I was put a bunch of paint on so it was real thick like this. And then I scraped it off with the, with the large palette knife this thing here anyway so I have a toddler so I make a lot of si uh, noises <laughs> uh, so I may paint that solid later I don't know I might leave this alone uh, I've been playing with this yin yang symbol a lot so I may or may not uh, do more on this I haven't decided yet and uh, this one I just scraped it all off uh, it reminds me I think it's Gerhard Victor maybe I'm wrong and I might do something more with this too, I might leave it. But today it's all about exploration on this wintry day. And I still have three of these little panels left. I don't usually make serious work on the panels. I usually do the bigger boards or gallery wraps. But um, I'm glad I kind of let these alone to dry. And you can see already since the last time we talked, that, that uh, some of it's spread outside of the area and we've got some really neat little fjords happening right there with the blue and the white mixing together. And I might just leave this two alone and uh, perhaps I'll even do those last three along this line and um, a little more subtle work. So I poured the white on there. It's just a white house paint, acrylic latex house paint. Had some color I smeared in here and there and then use the black to highlight it. Uh, the, the greatest tool are these cake decorating bottles here. And so I've got, I filled a couple of black ones up with this house paint that I use. On occasion when I can't get all of my expensive latex heavy body, uh, it allows for some exploration of my creativity, but at the same time, I'm not paying quite the price point that I am with the heavy body acrylics. Holy crap, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, again, it's a day of play, uh, experimentation, moving the paint, scraping. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything there or not, but now everything's drying and 
I don't have a lot of room to dry, so uneven surfaces mean things are gonna drift. The paint will drift. Those two you saw earlier. And this mess over here, I don't know what this is. It looks like somebody just, I don't know, threw paint on the canvases. Hey, that's kind of what I did. Remember, creativity isn't about the end result. It's about the process. Okay, maybe there's something there to it. I don't know what. I work these out a little bit more. Coming back to the Giacometti influence figures again. You see that in some of my work about 10 years back. It's crazy. So it's kind of hard to see it on the big messy workbench, but there might be something going on with these again. There's a point of overworking and there's a point of working to a solution. So these were the two earlier pieces here. I think they were okay. This is a little bit later today, a little bolder. And then this one, of course, with the scraped painting. And then this one with um, no scraping involved, although I'm tempted to go back into it. Sometimes I come down later tonight, later in the evening on a Sunday, and I work these sort of things again. But you know, it's all about exploration. It's about the journey. And I'm still exploring. I've been doing this for 30, 40 years, something like that. And I'm still learning every single day. And that's what today was about, is learning on this beautiful December 1st, snowy <laughs> day of winter. So we'll see what happens. 